Subscribe if you're always missing a sixth person. I still come across new and experienced players who struggle to find a place to learn fundamentals to the game, or they struggle to find a good encyclopedia to share with friends just starting out. In this series, I want to impart Destiny 2 knowledge that is accessible for the absolute beginner up to the veteran player. I hope this helps and enjoy. If you're playing Destiny 2, you might be playing the reprised raid Crota's End, and you've probably experienced Weight of Darkness and being unable to run in the first encounter. Simply swinging a sword and spamming it is an easy way to get around that problem, but this wastes quite a lot of sword ammo. Do this instead. Jump, light swing. Jump, light swing. Jump, light swing. You can cross a lot of distance in the pinch this way, no matter the activity you're in. Here's another look, as shown we're walking. Then we jump, then light swing. Jump, light swing. Jump, light swing. Jump, light swing. Even without any special sword perks, we're able to travel a lot of distance in a short amount of time. The same concept even applies to mission items, like this gigantic wrench. Because it is not a sword and it's an object, we are not going to be using light swing. Instead, we will use the melee button. Jump, melee, jump, melee, jump, melee, jump, melee, jump, melee. You'll find you can use this jump melee movement with many objects. Loadouts are a recent addition and they allow you to switch your gear on the fly, but you have to be careful. When you switch loadouts, you may notice your abilities and super reset to zero. This is because the subclass and subclass details in the loadouts you are selecting are not 100% identical. Take a look at these two loadouts. Notice anything peculiar? These have the same exact aspects and fragments, but these two fragments are in two different positions. And because of that one difference, when you switch between these loadouts, you will lose all your abilities and super energy. I'm not sure if this was intentional, but please review your loadouts. Of course, if you are switching between different supers and different fragments, you will lose your ability and super energy because those two loadouts are clearly different. As shown, these are two different loadouts. Notice the fragments. Even though they are different by just one fragment, when you switch between these loadouts, you lose all ability and super energy. On the flip side, if you keep all of the subclass details exactly the same, even the position of the fragments, you can switch between those loadouts all day and not lose any ability or super energy. I literally just switched back and forth multiple times between those loadouts without losing any ability energy. And that's because I made sure the subclass details are exactly the same between those two loadouts, down to even the position of the fragments. One application of this is prepping for DPS. Example, using Hunter with Aeons to generate heavy ammo for your team. You're running around their counter, you're finishing enemies, and then, immediately before DPS begins, switch to your other loadout which contains Star Eater Scale Boots. Of course, make sure the loadouts are the same, otherwise you will lose your super and ability energy. Then go ahead and select that loadout, go ahead and collect 4 orbs needed for Star Eaters, and then you can begin DPS. One extension of loadouts is swapping to another beneficial exotic literally during DPS. Example, Star Eaters is only really beneficial for popping your super. During the rest of damage, it's not doing too much. Instead, many players are becoming more and more comfortable with switching to another loadout during the super animation, and I'll show you here. For example, I'll be switching from this Star Eater loadout to a Dragon Shadow loadout. This is because Dragon's Shadow grants handling and reload, which would be beneficial during the rest of DPS. Again, I've made sure these two loadouts have the same exact fragments and subclass details, and that's really because I don't want to accidentally lose any ability energy that might be helpful during DPS. Finally, we'll show this in action, but you can always watch your favorite speedrunners or optimal DPS rotation videos for more examples. I'm going to get into position, I pop my super, I go into my menu, I switch to the other loadout, and I continue DPS. Let's see it one more time. I'm going to pop my super here. During the super animation, I go into my menu, I click the other loadout, and I continue DPS. I was originally on the fence about making this video longer, but if it does well, I'll continue to make these types of videos. I hope this was educational, and I'll see you next time.